Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is Accounting Ratios. Question number 1. Which of the following is studied with the help of financial leverage? Option A. Marketing risk. Option B. Interest rate risk. Option C. Foreign exchange risk. Option D. Financing risk. The correct answer is Option D. Financing risk. Financial leverage represents the amount of debts that an equity uses to buy additional assets. It basically represents the proportion of debt in the capital structure of the company. Higher the debt in the capital structure, higher is the financial leverage with high financing risk. Companies with high leverage are considered to be high risk of bankruptcy. Question number 2. The statistical yardstick that provides a measure of the relationship between two accounting figures is A. Option A. Current ratio. Option B. Accounting ratio. Option C. Capital output ratio. Option D. Debt to equity ratio. The correct answer is Option B. Accounting ratio. Current ratio is the ratio to measure relationship between current assets and current liability. Capital output ratio is the ratio which measures that, how much capital is required to produce one unit of output. Debt to equity ratio measures the proportion of debt funds to the owner's capital. Ratios are mathematical relationship between two figures. Accounting ratios are ratios that compare relationship between between two accounting figures. Question number 3. The most commonly used classification of ratio is Option A. Activity Ratios. Option B. Solvency Ratios. Option C. Liquidity Ratios. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is. Option D. All of them. The functional classification is based on the purpose for which the ratio is computed is and it is as follows. Activity Ratios. Solvency Ratios. Liquidity Ratios. Profitability Ratios Question number 4 Which of the following comes under Efficiency Ratios? Option A. Average Collection Period Option B. Inventory Turnover Ratio Option C. Fixed Assets Turnover Ratio Option D. All of them The correct answer is Option D. All of them Efficiency ratios are those which help determine the business how efficiently it uses its resources in form of assets and deals with the liabilities. To know how business converts the inventory into sales, foster sales and earns income, these ratios are important. Question number 5. Financial ratios indicate underscore. Option A. The financial position of the company. Option B. The insolvency condition of the company. Option C. The sales position of the company. Option D. The value of fixed assets of the company. The correct answer is. Option A. The financial position of the company. Financial ratio is a relative magnitude of two selected numerical values from the financial statements of the company. Financial analysts use financial ratio to compare the strengths and weaknesses of the financial position of the company. Hence. Financial ratios indicate the financial position of the company. Question number 6. Operating leverage helps in the analysis of underscore. Option A. Business risk. Option B. Financing risk. Option C. Production risk. Option D. Credit risk. The correct answer is. Option A. Business risk. A higher proportion of higher fixed cost in the production process means that the operating leverage is higher and the company has more business risk. Question number 7. The underscore classification based on the purpose for which a ratio is computed is the most commonly used classification. Option A. Traditional. Option B. Modern. Option C. Functional. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is Option C. Functional. The functional classification is based on the purpose for which a ratio is computed and is the most commonly used classification. 
Some examples of functional ratios are liquidity ratios, solvency ratios, activity ratios, etc. Question number 8. When the concept of ratio is defined and respected to the items shown in the financial statements, it is termed as underscore. Option A. Accounting ratio. Option B. Financial ratio. Option C. Costing ratio. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is Option A. Accounting ratio. An accounting ratio compares two aspects of a financial statement, such as the relationship of current assets to current liabilities. The ratio can be used to evaluate the financial condition of a company, including the company's strength and weaknesses. Financial ratio evaluates companies' operating and financial performance such as liquidity, profitability and solvency. Costing ratio evaluates the change with the level of production to the amount of revenues generated by production. Question number 9. If debt is Rs. 220.220 rupees and equity is 300 rupees, then the gearing ratio is underscore. Option A. 20%. Option B. 73.33%. Option C. 50%. Option D. 30%. The correct answer is Option B. 73.33%. Capital gearing ratio equals fixed interest bearing capital by equity funds or net worth equals 220-300 equals 73.33%. Question number 10. Formula for calculating financial leverage is underscore. Option A. EBIT divided by contribution. Option B. EBIT divided by EBIT. Option C. EBIT divided by sales. Option D. EBIT divided by variable cost. The correct answer is Option B. EBIT divided by EBIT. Financial leverage depicts the amount of the debt used to acquire additional assets. It is the proportion of debt present in the total capital structure. The formula for financial leverage is EBIT divided by EBIT. Question number 11. Ratio analysis is indispensable part of interpretation of result revealed by the underscore. Option A. Government statement. Option B. Financial statement. Option C. Accounting statement. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option B. Financial Statement Ratio analysis is the process of determining and interpreting numerical relationship based on financial statements. It is the technique of interpretation of financial statements with the help of accounting ratios derived from balance sheet and profit and loss account. Hence, it is indispensable part of interpretation of result reveled by financial statement. Question number 12. The following group of ratios primarily measures risk underscore. Option A. Liquidity, activity, and common stock. Option B. Liquidity, activity, and debt. Option C. Activity, debt, and profitability. Option D. Liquidity, activity, and profitability. The correct answer is. Option D. Liquidity, activity and profitability. Some of the financial ratios that are most commonly used by the investors and analysis to access a company's financial risk level and overall financial health are debt to capital ratio, interest coverage ratio, activity ratio, and profitability ratios. Question number 13. The underscore of business firms is measured by its ability to satisfy its short-term obligations as they come due. Option A. Activity. Option B. Liquidity. Option C. Debt. Option D. Profitability. The correct answer is Option B. Liquidity. The liquidity of business firms is measured by its ability to satisfy its short term obligations as they come due. Liquidity describes the degree to which an asset or security can be quickly bought or sold in the market without affecting the asset's price. Question number 14. Liquidity ratios are essentially underscore term in nature. Option A. Long. 
ऑप्शन बी शॉर्ट ऑप्शन सी मीडियम ऑप्शन डी बोथ ए एंड बी द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी शॉर्ट लिक्विडिटी रिफर्स टू द एबिलिटी ऑफ द बिजनेस टू पे ऑफ इट्स इमीडिएट डेट्स और शॉर्ट टर्म डेट्स लिक्विडिटी रेशियोज हेल्प टू मेजर द लिक्विडिटी ऑफ द बिजनेस एंड हैंड्स आर शॉर्ट टर्म इन नेचर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन चेंज इन सेल्स एंड द ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट इज नोन एज अंडर स्कोर ऑप्शन ए फाइनेंशियल लीवरेज ऑप्शन बी ऑपरेटिंग लीवरेज ऑप्शन सी नेट प्रॉफिट रेशियो ऑप्शन डी ग्रोस प्रॉफिट रेशियो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ऑपरेटिंग लीवरेज ऑपरेटिंग लीवरेज इज अ मेजर ऑफ हाउ द रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ ट्रांसलेट इन टू ग्रोथ इन ऑपरेटिंग इनकम इट रिलेट्स टू द रिजल्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फिक्सड कॉस्ट एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ऑपरेटिंग लीवरेज इज कैलकुलेटेड बाई डिवाइडिंग द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन बाई कंपनीज नेट इनकम इट शो द रिलेशनशिप इन चेंज इन सेल्स एंड द ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रेशियो इज लॉन्ग टर्म इन नेचर ऑप्शन ए लिक्विडिटी ऑप्शन बी सॉल्वेंसी ऑप्शन सी एक्टिविटी ऑप्शन डी profitability the correct answer is option b solvency solvency refers to the ability of the business to meet its obligations to stakeholders especially to external stakeholders and are long term in nature whereas liquidity refers to the ability of the business to meet its short term commitments question number 17 there is a underscore way classification of ratios option a 1 option b टू ऑप्शन सी थ्री ऑप्शन डी फोर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी टू देर इज अ टू वे क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रेशियोज दे आर ट्रेडिशनल क्लासिफिकेशन द बेसिस फॉर विच इज द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट टू विच द डिटर्मिनेंट्स बिलोंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल बैलेंस शीट रेशियोज profit and loss ratios etc functional classification the basis for which is the purpose for which the ratios are calculated for example liquidity ratios solvency ratios etc question number 18 which of the following term is used to represent the proportionate relationship between debt and equity option a cost of capital option b capital budgeting option c asset structure option d capital structure the correct answer is option d capital structure the term used to represent the proportionate relationship between debt and equity is capital structure because by capital structure we mean to define the mix or proportion in which the capital of the company should be so as to maximize the benefit for the shareholders while deciding the capital structure a lot of factors have to be taken into consideration and also the debt equity ratio is the indicator of the financial leverage of the company question number 19 combined leverage is obtained from ol and fl by their underscore option a addition option b subtraction option c multiplication option d any of these the correct answer is option c multiplication a degree of combined leverage is the combination of financial leverage and operating leverage dot it provides the combined effect of degree of operating leverage and financial leverage combined leverage provide the percent change in eps against the percent change in sales question number 20 if a ratio is computed with one variable from income statement and another variable from balance sheet it is called as underscore ratio option a income statement option b balance sheet option c composite option d liquidity the correct answer is option c composite if a ratio is computed with one variable from income statement and another variable from balance sheet it is called as composite ratios For example debtors turnover ratio which is the ratio of credit sales to the average debtors balance here the figure of sales is a from income statement and debtors figure is from balance sheet Thank you for watching the video if you'd like practice this quiz then download the wonderslate app now 
link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.